evening good evening students priti amrita <coughs> students good evening good evening sir yeah you yes, will wait for a few minutes for others guys is there any exams exams completed sir tomorrow hmm. we have exams sir what exam madam maths sir. maths we will complete the rest of the sample question paper we will wait for few minutes for others anyone tried the sample question paper yesterday after my class students please we done up to 32 we done it no no 32 Then up to thirty, three zero, similar triangles concept. friends shall we start the session anyone having any idea how to do the question number 31 students please it is related to coordinate geometry which we already done how we can do it's a combination of coordinate geometry and friends Answer my question. Are you able to hear me? <laughs> Students, will able to hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. How to do this question? What is the meaning of perpendicular bisector of a triangle? Anyone can able to recollect perpendicular bisector of a triangle? What is the meaning of perpendicular bisector of a triangle? Students, I am asking you only. You pick only. What is the meaning of perpendicular bisector of a triangle? guys please respond triangle is abc what is meant by perpendicular bisector of a triangle the equation of the perpendicular bisector of line joining the segment Anyone? 
Guys, no response? Yes or no or something? Arman, Akshita, Durlav, Vaishnavi, no answer? Students, waiting for you, for you only. No, no response from anyone. What is the meaning of perpendicular bisector, guys? If I am taking a point here, it should bisect perpendicularly. This line should bisect perpendicularly. This should be perpendicular as well as it is bisecting this line. So how I can do with the help of my coordinate geometry in 11th standard, we are having a different uh, kind of way to treat this question. That means this point x comma y with equidistance from both the points. So where a is 4 comma 5, b is minus 2 comma 3, simply 4 minus x whole square plus y minus y whole square will be equal to minus 2 minus x whole square plus 3 minus y whole square. So this will give 16 plus x square minus 8x plus 25 plus y square minus 10y is equal to 4 plus x plus 4x plus 9 plus y square x square plus uh, minus 6y. So x square y square is cancelled on both sides. This will give us, uh, if I'm taking everything that side, 4 plus 4x plus 9 minus 6y minus 16 plus 8x minus 25 plus 10y. So minus 6y plus 10y. 4x plus 8x. 4x minus 6 plus 4. 4y. 4 plus 9 is 13. 13 minus 16 is minus 3. Minus 3 minus 25 is minus 28. This will be with fourth table 3x plus 4 y minus 7 is equal to 0. This is a condition I got. Sir, this is only the method. Is there any other method I can do? Yes, one more method also we can do in a simplest way. Students, are you clear what I done in the previous solution? Same question I am explaining in a different method for MCQ. Guys, you able to hear me? Yes. Yeah. So if I'm saying A, B perpendicular bisector, it is saying bisecting. So a line which is passing through midpoint of AB. We know midpoint formula. So midpoint of AB is 4 plus minus 2 by 2, 5 plus 3 by 2. This is 2 by 2, comma 8 by 2, 1, comma 4. So if I want to say this is the midpoint and it should lie on this line. So check this point, which equation is satisfying this point. This is our x value, this is our y value. If I'm taking a first question, 2x minus y plus 7 is equal to 0. I'm substituting x comma y value, 2 into 1 minus 4 plus 7 is equal to 0. So it is not, because 2 minus 4 is minus 2 plus 7 is not equal to 0. Second is 3x plus 2y minus 7. 3x is 3 plus 8 minus 7 is not equal to 0. Third option is 3 into 1 minus 4 minus 7. It is not. 3 minus 4 minus 8 is not equal to 0. Fourth option, 3x plus y minus 7 is equal to 0. 3 into 1 plus 4 minus 7 is equal to 0. So 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. 0 is equal to 0. So the option is fourth option. This is also one more way you can able to do this question. So if you are a little bit good with mind calculation, no need to put the pen. Just one comma four you can substitute in place of x and y. In mind, you can calculate it, you can mark the answer. Is it clear? What is another way of answering this question, students? Yes.
tomorrow mass exam yes trigonometry we are not at done so i am taking 33 The smallest number by which one by thirteen should be multiplied so that its decimal expansion terminates after two decimal places is the smallest number by which one by thirteen should be multiplied so that its decimal expansion should be terminated after. So take the options. I am taking smallest number should be multiplied by thirteen. So its decimal expansion terminates after two decimals. Suppose if I am taking thirteen by hundred into one by thirteen, I am getting one by hundred. So its decimal expansion is terminating after how many digits? Zero point zero one. If I am taking thirteen by ten into one by thirteen, it will be one by ten. Its decimal expansion is zero point one. If I am taking ten by thirteen into one by thirteen, this will be ten by one sixty nine. I can't see it is a decimal expansion because one by it won't go. It will take more than two decimal expansions. Even hundred by thirteen into one by thirteen also hundred by one sixty nine. So these two options are not correct. So here two decimal points, then only it is terminating. So the first is the right option. Next one. Question number thirty-four, thirty-five. Both are related to our topic. One is from triangles. Another one is from straight lines. On a geometry section formula. How to do this question, students? Sides A, B, and B, E. Just uh, zooming this diagram to understand a little bit more better. Yeah, sides A, B, and B are the right angles, right triangle of a right triangle. Side A, B, and B of a right triangle, right angle at B of length sixteen centimeter and eight eight centimeter. So A, B is sixteen, B is eight centimeter. As well, the length of the sides of the largest square that can able to fit. How to calculate the length of the largest square? F T G B. Largest square means your BC should be equal to BF. How we can say? See here, FD is parallel to BE, so this is right angle. This is also right angle. So these two angles are same. From the angle-angle property, I can say triangle AFD is similar to triangle ABC and DC. This is easy. So I'm taking these two triangles to make it similar. A, B, F, or A, F, D. This is also one more right angle triangle. I'm getting the same angle because these two are alternate angles. This is D, Z, F. These two are similar, and both are right angle triangles. So from angle angle criteria, these two are similar. If I'm taking these two are similar, I can take. A F by because see this is right angle this is right angle so this is hypotenuse A D is a hypotenuse for the triangle D is a hypotenuse for the D Z triangle so A F is the height so A F divided by D Z is equal to F D divided by base G E so if I am taking this is X where I am getting the maximum square at X so what is the A F value Then this is also x. All the sides are x. So AF will be equal to 16 minus x divided by DZ is equal to x by 8 minus x. Because the square side is x, that is we don't know. We have to calculate. If I am cross multiplying this one, what I will get? 16 minus x into 8 minus x. 
is equal to dz into x is equal to dz into x where dz dz is also x all those x are x so this is also x so x square is equal 16 minus x into 8 minus x please solve this question guys x square is equal 16 into 8 is how much How much? 16 into 8. One twenty eight minus 8x minus 16x plus x square. x square, x square cancel. So I will get 128 minus 8 minus 16. Minus 8 minus 16 is minus 24x. From here, x is equal to 128 by 24. So with the 6th table, 6, 4 times. No, not with 6th table. 24, how many times, students? Eight, with the 8th table or the 2nd table, straight away I'm going to the 2nd table, 2 twelves, 2 6, 2 fours, 4 threes, 4 sixteens. So x is equal to 16 by 3. That's it. X is equal to 16 by 3. How to do point P divides the line segment joining of R and S. R is a point minus 1 comma 3. S is a point Nine comma eight. Uh, P divides K is to one ratio. If P lies on the the P is this point P is lies on x minus y plus two is equal to zero. Then find the value of K. Then find the value of k. How to do this question guys? What kind of idea? Any idea you are getting? How to solve this one? If I am assuming p is x comma y, x1 comma y1 or something. How to do this question? So find the coordinates of p first. The coordinates of p is 9k minus 1 by k plus 1 8k plus 3 by k plus 1 this is the coordinates of p if this point is lying on this so this point should satisfy this equation so substitute that point because it is lying on that line is he mentioned the p is lies on this line so 9k minus 1 by k plus 1 minus 8k plus 3 by k plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 0 so this will be 9k minus 1 minus 8k plus 3 plus 2 of k plus 1 is equal to 0. So 9k minus 1 minus 8k minus 3 plus 2k plus 2 is equal to 0. So 9k minus 8k is k, k plus 2k is 3k, minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4, minus 4 plus 2 is minus 4 plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. From here, k is equal to 2 by 3. So the answer is 2 by 3. Students, following? Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Any doubt so far? So this is the areas related to circles. We are not at covered. Just hold it. The 37th question also area related to circles. Yeah. 38. Little bit related to um, quadratic equations, zeros of polynomials, not quadratic equations. Out of these two questions, 39 is the area related to circle. We will hold that question. We will do next. Rest of the two. If two and half are the zeros of the given polynomial, if it is zeros of the polynomial, what it is meaning? 
zeros of the polynomial means they give the p of x is equal to p x square plus 5x plus r. And if I'm taking p of 2, it should be 0. p of half also should be 0. p of 2 is how much? p into 4 plus 10 plus r is equal to 0. This will be 4p plus r should be equal to 0. This is the first equation. p of half, that is p by 4 plus 5 by 2 plus r is equal to 0. That means you will get p plus 10 plus 4r should be 0. Four p plus ten. Four p plus ten plus r. Four p plus r plus ten is equal to zero. P plus four r plus ten should be equal to zero here. So if I am solving these two, I will get the answer. So four p plus r plus ten is equal to zero. P plus four r plus ten is equal to zero. I'm multiplying with one, multiplying with four. This will be four p plus r plus ten is equal to zero. Four p plus sixteen r plus forty is equal to zero. If I'm subtracting minus fifteen r minus thirty is equal to zero, where r I'm getting as two. If r is equal to two. So I'm substituting in this equation. R is equal to no, no, r is equal to minus 2. Sorry, guys. If r is equal to minus 2, p plus 10 minus 4 is equal to 0. Sorry, minus 8 is equal to 0. So p is equal to minus 2. So the answer is p is equal to r is equal to minus 2 is the answer. This is one method. How to do the another method? Using the product of the zeros and sum of the zeros. Here, 2 comma 1 by 2 is zeros. So the product of the zeros is negative of the middle term. Product of zeros is 2 into 1 by 2, which is equal to 1, which is equal to 1. And sum of the zeros is we don't want. So what I get, if I'm taking the product of the zeros, 2 into 1 by 2, which is equal to R by P which is equal to R by P. That means R by P is equal to 1. R by P is equal to 1. And sum of the zeros are, sorry, 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to sum of the zeros, which is equal to minus 5 by P. Here, 5 by 2 is equal to minus 5 by p. 5 5 cancel. My p is coming as minus 2 here. If p is equal to minus 2 and substituting here, r is coming as minus 2. This is also one more method with the help of sum of the zeros and product of the zeros. You can able to solve this question. So you can use any method. Is ever which r. You can substitute the values there and find out the zeros. Substitute pr values and you will form the quadratic equation. Check which quadratic equation giving 2 comma 1 by 2 is the zeros. So any method, we are having multiple methods based on how your mind is click, like giving the idea to proceed conceptually, just follow that one. The number of solutions of this one. How to do this question, students? How to calculate the number of solutions? See here, you have to integrate your grade 7 and 8 term concepts, which is related to exponents and power. So we have to bring the relation between x plus y and x minus y. Based on that only, I can able to give 243. So 3x plus y. What is the prime factorization of 243? 3 into 3 is 9. Again, 3 into 3 is 9. 3 power 4 is 81. 3 power 5 is 243. So this can be written as 3 power 5. From here, I can write as x plus y is equal to 5. Next, 243 x power minus y is equal to 3 power 1. This can be written as 
3 power 5 into x minus y is equal to 3 power 1. From here, 5 of x plus x minus y. 5 of x minus y is equal to 1. So x minus y is equal to 1 by 5. x plus y is equal to 5. So if I'm taking a by b is equal to 1 and a1 by a2 is equal to 1, b1 by b2 is equal to minus 1, where a1 by a2 of the simultaneous equation is not equal to b1 by b2. So if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, how many solutions, students? Unique solution. Am I right? What is the condition yes, for unique solution? So the relation between x and y should be a1 by a2 should not equal to b1 by b2. Then it will be a unique solution. So unique solution. This is how we can solve this question. Moving to the question number 41. It's a study case based. They gave one diagram. They're asking uh, around uh, two study cases based on case study two. You have to do both the study cases. So I'm going to draw this diagram. Sorry, copy this diagram, then it will be easy to understand. So you can ask, you can mark any eight questions out of these 10 questions. So some internal choice is included here. So the bigger given alongside shows the path of a diver. It's like a parabolic path. Parabolic path means it's a quadratic equation. So when she takes a jump from the diving boat, clearly it is a parabola. And he was standing on the diving boat 48 feet above the water level. So this is 48 feet above the water level. Suppose this is a water level. This height is 48 feet. She took a dive into the pool. Her height is in feet. Height above the water level at any time t in t seconds is given in these equations. That means he is jumping like this. So she is increasing height. At this point, she is here. At this point, she is here. I'm taking the whole body of this lady was a point size. See, height is increasing. At this point, this is a height. 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 And slowly it is decreasing and reached here. So with respect to time, the height is increasing. After that, the height is decreased and gone to zero with respect to brown water. So he is asking that height in terms of time. So minus 16 t square plus 8 t plus k. At zero seconds, she is on board, that diving board. At zero seconds, she is on diving board. That means if I'm substituting zero, it's a function of t. The meaning of function of t means I'm giving all the heights in single equations. Suppose after two seconds, at what height she was? After three seconds, at what height she was? Then if I'm substituting zero here, then I will get the height of the lady where she was. And it is limited. Wherever I'm getting zero, at particular value, I will get zero. After that, after the t value, that means it is not possible. We are getting negative height. Now, I'm going to calculate first question. What is asking in the first question? What is the value of k? So k value can be calculated at zero seconds. Her height is she is on the diving board. At zero seconds, her height was. At what position she was? 48 feet. So h of 0 should be 48. So what is the k value? Minus 0 plus 0 plus k is equal to 48. So I'm getting k value is equal to 48. Is it clear, guys, what I done here? Yes, sir. When the Annie is on the skateboard, the time is initial point. Initial point means the time is zero here. Go for question number B. 
uh, what time she will touch the water in the pool what is that meaning at what time she will touch the water in the pool where height is zero h of t should be zero her height should be zero at what t value height is zero the second question says at what t value h is zero that means how much time she took to reach the ground so minus 16 square plus 8t already we calculated k as 48 is equal to 0 if i am taking with 8 8 ones 8 twos 8 uh, 6 this will be minus 2t square plus t plus 6 is equal to 0 2t square minus t minus 6 is equal to 0 If I am factorizing 2t square minus 3t plus t minus 6 is equal to 0. If I am taking 2t common, sorry, minus 2t plus 2. So 2t common, t common. This will be 2t minus 3. If I am taking plus 2 common, no, minus 3 into 2 is minus 6. Minus 3t plus 2t is. If I am taking t common, 2t minus 3. I am taking t common. Yeah. How I can take common to make it proper? Students, how to factorize this one? If I am taking these two terms, I am taking two t common. If I am taking two t common, t minus one. If I am taking minus three common, t minus. Again, it is wrong. Yes. Why it is wrong? My split up is wrong. The product should be twelve. Sum should be minus one. Is not. That is the reason I am not getting the factors properly. Two t square minus four t plus three t minus six. Now you will get the proper factors. If I am taking two t common, t minus two. If I am taking plus three common, t minus two is equal to zero. So t minus two. 2t plus 3 is equal to 0. So where t is equal to 2 or minus 3 by 2, negative time is not possible. So t is equal to 2 seconds is my answer. So that means after 2 seconds she will touch the water. After 2 seconds she will touch the water. This is my answer here. Rita's height above the water level is given by another polynomial p of t. With the zeros minus one comma two, then p of t is p into sorry. In this case, x minus sum of the polynomials, x square minus sum of the polynomial, sum of the zeros plus product of the zeros. This will be x square minus one plus two is plus one, so minus x minus two. Where x is t, t square minus t minus two. No. Check guys, where we are missing t square minus t minus two. Which equation is giving that kind of expression here? Or how we can do this question? Question number three. X square minus product okay. of zeros x sir. Sorry. Sir, it is product of zeros first and then uh, sum of zeros. Sir, you have taken sum of zeros and then product of zeros. First is product of zeros. What is the polynomial? Suppose if alpha comma beta are the zeros of a polynomial, what is the polynomial? X square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta only, no? It's not alpha beta into x, and uh, last one is alpha plus beta. Sum of the zeros into x plus product of the zeros only, no? For quadratic polynomial. So I got x square minus x minus two. That is t square minus t minus two. Which equation can satisfy? If I am taking minus twenty four common in the last equation, I am getting t square plus t 
t plus 2 if i'm taking uh, third equation if i'm taking 24 common t square minus t plus 2 t square minus x minus 2 t square minus 24 t square plus 24 t yeah i think fourth option is right answer Let's put it here i will explain it will be technically how it will be see here if i am taking this equation polynomial q of t uh, sorry uh, another polynomial p of t with zeros minus 1 comma 2 so alpha plus beta is minus 1 plus 2 which is equal to 1 alpha into beta is minus 2 if i am taking uh, here t square plus t plus 6 alpha plus beta is minus 1 so this is not if i am taking t square plus t minus 6 Here also alpha plus beta is minus one. This is not. If I'm taking sorry, sorry, sorry guys. T square plus two t minus one plus two t minus one. Alpha plus beta is minus two. This is also not correct option. Twenty four t square minus twenty four t plus forty eight. If our alpha plus beta is that is sum of the zero c's minus of minus twenty four by twenty four. This is plus one. There is a possibility. But product of the zeros also you have to check here. Alpha into beta is uh, 48 by 24, which is coming as 2. But if the product of zeros is minus 2, so this is not option. So only option is remaining D. Check whether D is correct or not. Alpha plus beta is minus 24 minus of minus 24. Sorry, minus 24 by minus 24. The answer is plus 1. Alpha into beta is 48 by minus 24. This is minus 2. So which is coming exactly as uh, minus 1, 2. So my alpha plus beta is plus 1. Alpha into beta is minus 2. So which is satisfying my conditions. So the option D is correct. Or you can frame the equation. You can multiply with any constant number, which is giving the pro proper. That is your answer. So the polynomial q of t with the sum of the zeros as one, so alpha plus beta is equal to one, and the product of the zeros is minus six. So x square minus x minus six is equal to zero is an equation. Anu's height in feet above the water at any time in seconds is given by. So which is which equation satisfying one comma six? If I'm taking first equation, I'm getting sum is minus one, product is plus six, so it's wrong. Second equation, sum is minus one, product is minus six, that is also wrong. If I'm taking third equation, eight t square plus eight t uh, plus forty eight, alpha plus beta is minus eight by minus eight, so this is plus one. Alpha into beta is forty eight by minus eight minus six. So the third option is the right option. If I'm taking fourth option, minus of minus eight by eight, I'm getting plus one. But if I'm taking product forty eight by eight, which is giving plus six, but the product they gave us minus six. The zeros of the polynomial are negative of each other. Then K is. What is the meaning of negative of each other, students? What is the meaning of negative of each other? when the product of the sorry when the zeros are negative of each other means sum is zero the meaning of negative of each other means sum of zeros are equal to zero that means minus a comma plus a minus 1 comma plus 1 might be anything that means there is no t term your sum is alpha plus beta is minus of k minus 3 by Minus twelve should be equal to zero because negative to each other. So k minus three is equal to zero. From here k is equal to three is my answer. This is how we can able to solve uh, application oriented questions like this. Students, are you clear what I am saying? 
Sir, can you repeat the last question once more? Yeah. What is the thing in last question? Anyone can read out the last question? I will zoom out. The zeros of polynomial are negative to each other. What is the meaning of negative to each other? Alpha comma minus alpha. The meaning of negative to each other. If two numbers are negative to each other, that is, sum of those numbers are zero. Example, a comma minus a, negative to each other, minus one comma plus one, negative to each other, phi comma minus phi, negative to each other. So here, alpha is equal to minus beta or beta is equal to minus alpha. So alpha plus beta should be equal to zero. That is equal to minus b by a of the polynomial. What is minus b? Minus of k minus three by minus 12 should be equal to zero to satisfy the given condition. Understood, son of you? What I'm saying? Sir? Sir, I had asked the doubt, sir. Yeah, what's the name? Sir, Sorry. good luck. Good luck. Now we are yes. clear what I'm doing, what i done? Yes, sir, I got it. So k minus three is equal to zero. From here, k should be equal to three. So the answer is first option here. The next uh, last one, there is a case study. It's completely related to coordinate geometry. Forward as shown players A, B, C, D, mid players shown E, F, G, E, F, G, full backs H, I, J, as shown player K, goalie keeper is K. So he is taking from here with respect to here. Forward players, mid players, full back players, red color, K. So this graph is enough, first of all, to make it where he mentioned this is as origin. The line joining of goal posts is origin. Thing the whole diagram came. So only the thing is, if you zoom out this diagram properly, it will be easy to understand. Just mark it. This is the x-axis. And I'm zooming out this diagram a little bit, but you can't zoom out in exam like this. To understand here, we are zooming out. If I'm zooming out, it will be easy to calculate the coordinates. Mostly the questions are coordinates only. I'm thinking the coordinates, the centroid of E H J. So first identify what is E H J. E is how much? Students, what is E value? What is E value? E is how much? Two comma one. E H J. E H J. This is J. The red color. E E is two comma one. H is minus two comma four j is minus two comma minus two so the centroid is a plus uh, x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 so 2 minus 2 minus 2 so minus 2 by 3 1 plus 4 5 5 minus 2 3 3 by 3 is 1 so the answer is minus 2 comma 2 by 3 comma 1 minus 2 by 3 comma plus 1. So the option A. Is it clear guys what I done? So first I calculate the E value. E value how much I got? From the diagram E value is 2 comma 1 and H value is minus 2 comma 4 and J value is minus 2 comma minus 2. So then 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 by 3 is 
first of first coordinate 1 plus 4 minus 2 so 5 minus 2 that is 3 by 3 so the answer is minus 2 comma so he's asking centroid if a player p needs to be equal distance from a and g such that a p g are in straight line then position of p will be given by there is a player p he should be equal distance from a and g a and g so this is position of a where is a position students a and g and line joining of a and g so he should be in between a and g exactly so for this question we have to calculate the a coordinates the coordinates of a is 3 comma 6 the coordinates of g is 1 comma minus 3 so a is 3 comma 6 g is 1 comma minus 3 P should be midpoint of A and G, that is 3 plus 1 by 2, 6 minus 3 by 2, that is your P. So, it will be 3 plus 1, 4, 4 by 2 is 2, 3 by 2, 2 comma 3 by 2. C is the option. Students, these two questions, understood how I done? Observation, this question requires observation, nothing is there in here. Is it clear what I am saying? Yes, sir. 48. The point on x axis equidistance from I and E. There, you have to choose a point on x axis which is equidistance from I and E. So, from for this, I am going to discuss what is I value first. I is minus 1, comma minus 1. E is 2, comma 1. You have to take a point on x axis. The point should be on x axis. P is x comma 0, which is equidistance from i comma e, which is equidistance from i comma e. You have to find out x. How to do this one? It is not midpoint. It might be anything. Only the mention is P e should be equal to P i. Apply the distance formula. i is equal to minus 1 comma 1. e is equal to 2 comma 1. Distance formula is x plus 1 whole square plus 1 square is equal to x plus 2 whole square plus 1 square. 1 square, 1 square cancel. x plus 1 whole square, x plus 2 whole square. What is your answer? I am equating both the things. x square plus 1 square plus 2x is equal to x square plus 4 plus 4x. So x square, x square can cancel. So what is the final answer you are getting? You will get like this. X plus 1 whole square is equal to X plus 2 whole square. X square plus 1 plus 2X is equal to X square plus 4 plus 4X. So X square, X square cancel. If I am cancelling 1, it is 3. This will be 2X. Somewhere we are missing. Check where we are missing. Yeah, this is x minus 2 whole square. It's not x plus 2. Because the points are minus 1 comma 1, 2 comma 1. This is i, this is e. p is x comma 0 because lying on x axis. p i will be equal to x minus of minus 1 is x plus 1 whole square, 0 minus 1 whole square is minus 1 whole square under the root. P e will be equal to x minus 2 whole square plus 0 minus of minus 1 is plus 1 whole square. From here, x minus 2, this is 2. x plus 1 whole square will be equal to x minus 2 whole square. So from here, we are going to solve x square plus 1 plus 2x is equal to x square plus 4 minus 4x. x square, x square cancel. This is 3. 6x is equal to 3. x is equal to 1 by 2. So the, my answer is 1 by 2 comma 0 is the point P, which is equidistance from uh, A and D. So 1 by 2 comma 0, option A. What are the coordinates of the positions of okay, player? Okay, no, explain the two. 
which one madam sir 48 sir one more time yes sir i did not understand yeah once again i will erase and i will explain that one the point on x axis which is equidistant from i and e from the diagram what is i value i already wrote here what is i value are you clear how i took how i took the i value and the e value yes so i is minus 1 comma 1 e is i is comma minus 1 comma 1 e is 2 comma 1 where p is lying on the x axis x comma 0 the p is equidistant from i and e that means the distance of pi must be equal to distance of pe are you clear the condition what i wrote yes so how to calculate the pi value using the distance formula tell me x minus of minus 1 whole square plus 0 minus 1 whole square under the root correct this is x plus 1 whole square plus minus 1 whole square is 1 square if i am uh, elaborating here itself x square plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 under the root this is x square plus 2x plus 2 this is my first equation same as if i am doing for pe how to get pe x minus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 1 whole square If I am expanding, these two should be equal under the root. X square plus four minus four x plus one. This will be equal to x square minus four x plus five under the root. This is my second equation. First and second equation represent same because he is saying P I should be equal to P E. So I can take uh, I can remove the square root also because. Both are equal. X square plus two x plus two should be equal to root of x square minus four x plus five. If I'm squaring on both sides, I will get x square plus two x plus two is equal to x square minus four x plus five. X square x square cancel. Take this four x this side. This will be six x. Take this two this side. Five minus two is three. So x is equal to three by six. The answer is one by two. If x is equal to one by two, the remaining coordinate is zero, so answer is one by two comma zero. Now clear, madam? Still? Any very confusing? Can can I use the formula of m one by? Yeah, one is to one ratio also you can use. Not one, yeah, one is to one ratio you can use, but he didn't mention it is lying on the line joining of i and d, no. You can you you can use one is to one ratio, but y coordinate should be zero, na? No? One is to one ratio. If I am using, I will get the midpoint. But the point on x-axis need not to be midpoint. It might be anything. Why I can't use the ratio formula? If I am using the ratio formula, my my answer won't get. Why I will tell you? Midpoint is one particular condition of equidistance. Suppose this is A, this is B. If I am taking these points, midpoint is P, which is equidistance. I can say P A is equal to P B. I can write one more point. P one, even P one A is equal to also P one B. I can take one more point. The okay. corresponding bisector. These are all the points which is equidistance from A and B. Correct? Yes. Out of all these points, there will be one point which is lying on x-axis. He is asking that point. Madam, I got it. What I am saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he is he is asking what points P needs to be equal from no 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 I and E. So join I and E exactly midpoint. You draw a perpendicular graphically. Minus one to two, that is minus one point five. At this point, you have to draw where it is meeting x-axis. That is a coordinate. Graphically, also you can do. So 
that is a shortcut but it is it won't work always i'm getting my uh, plus 1 by 2 see if i'm zooming this one i will get answer see here it is meeting exactly at the 0.5 of positive x axis we are taking a perpendicular see here i and d i join and i am taking a midpoint midpoint means exactly here total is 3 i am taking 1.5 so this is 1.5 from here it is 1.5 anywhere you draw a perpendicular line here the points all these points are which is equidistant i and d but there is a point which is intersecting x axis is asking that point that is your answer understood ma'am why we can't take one is to one yes, ratio if he is saying line joining the point lies on the ie line joining mean then you can use one is to one ratio okay 49 what are the coordinates of positions of player q such that his distance from k is twice his distance from e that means what Q K will be equal to how much, madam? Twice his distance from E. That is twice distance from Q E. Correct. And Q Q K Q and E are collinear. It is lying on the same line. K Q E and E and from E and K Q and E are collinear. Q and E are collinear, and K Q E are collinear. How to do this question? We can use the section formula here because of collinearity. If I am using section formula, what ratio how to use here? From the diagram, first identify what is the K and E. What is the positions of K and E? Where is K? K is minus four comma plus one. K is minus four comma plus one, and E is two comma one, and Q is a point which is dividing this line into two is to one ratio. there is a condition am i right because of collinearity only i can take directly ratio here where k is minus 4 comma 1 and e is 2 comma 1 q is x comma y and the ratio of the uh, q k q k q east q e is how much 2 is to 1 so apply the um, section formula because he mentioned clearly this three are on same line so i am applying the section formula 2 into 2 4 plus minus 4 by Three, uh, two into one, two plus one by three. Answer is coming as zero comma three, zero comma one. Zero comma one is the answer. Zero comma one is the answer. The last question: the point on y-axis which is equidistant from B and C. So the point, any point on the y-axis is zero comma y. Any point on the y-axis. Zero comma y. So this point I'm taking as T. He's saying T B must be equal to T C. Then what is that point? So T B. So I have to calculate the B value. 
where is the b here b is here b is 4 comma 3 and c is 4 comma minus 1 b is 4 comma 3 c is 4 comma minus 4 comma minus 1 and the point p uh, t is 0 comma y which is equidistant that means on y axis it is on y axis so how to do this question distance formula tb is 0 minus 4 whole square tb square must be equal to tc square because equidistance 0 minus 4 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square will be equal to 0 minus 4 whole square plus y minus of minus 1 y plus 1 whole square this one this one can see y minus 3 whole square will be equal to y plus 1 whole square y square plus 9 minus 6x six six will 6y will be equal to y square plus 1 plus 2y so y square y square cancel if i'm taking 6 that side 9 minus 1 is equal to 8y so y is equal to 8 by 8 that is equal to 1 so y is equal to 1 is the answer y is equal to 1 my coordinate of t is 0 comma 1 so d is the option here Hope you are clear, guys. How I done the 50th question? Careful observation is very much important because they gave a small diagram. You have to identify. So better to write all the coordinates on a paper and you can start solving. Is it clear, students? How to do yes, this? Sir. Yeah. Anyone having any other questions? Any doubts? Sir, I have a doubt in the textbook. Sorry. Sir, in the textbook, sums I have a doubt in triangles chapters. Yeah, please. Sir, exercise 6.5, sir, 11th quiz. Can you give the page number, madam? Sir, it is 151. One second. Rest of the people who don't have doubts, please leave and start your practice or you can stay back. It's your wish. Sir, in the sample paper, can you explain the 49th question once more? 49. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yes, now only done, man. Madam, I question. Sir, in the middle, my headphone got disconnected. So while connecting, sir, I couldn't hear, sir. That is why. What are the coordinates of the position of the Q such that distance from K is twice the distance from E? That means K. Sir, so are you sharing your screen? K Q is equal to two times Q E. Correct? That is a condition. Yes, sir. That means K and he is saying K Q E are collinear. K, Q, E are collinear and it is 2 is to 1 ratio. What is the K point from the diagram? The point K from the diagram. K is minus 4 comma plus 1. K is minus 4 comma plus 1. And E is 2 comma plus 1. And there is a point Q, which is dividing 2 is to 1 ratio. I am applying the Q point. Because of the collinearity only, I am applying. Otherwise, I have to use the distance formula. 2 into 2 plus 1 into minus 4 divided by 2 plus 1. Section formula. 2 into 1 plus 1 into 1 divided by 2 plus 1. This will be 4 minus 4 by 3. 3 by 3. So the answer is 0, 1. Okay, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah.
Ma'am, what is the page number? One fifty one, sir. It says any idea? Six point six, sir. Uh, this is the page. Yes, sir. Yeah, please. Which question? Eleven, sir. An aeroplane leaves an airport. We done now. This question we are not done. Sir, we have done, sir, but I don't get it properly. An airplane leaves an airport and flies due north. So, if I'm taking a little bit of horizontal plane, then it will be easy to understand. This is the ground: north, east, west, south. Flies towards the north, thousand kilometer per hour. At the same time, another aeroplane leaves the same airport due west. Another air it is leaving like this. This is aircraft B. This is aircraft A. So velocity of A is equal to thousand kilometer per hour. Velocity of B is equal to four hundred kilometer per hour. So. How far? After one and a half hour, what is its distance? It is started from O. Distance travelled by A. How much in one and a half hour? Madam, distance travelled by A in one and a half hour is how much? Thousand kilometers. How much? Thousand kilometers. Ma'am, that is per hour. This is per hour. I am talking about one and a half hour. How much velocity into time only, na? Yes, sir. So distance travelled by B in one point five hour is how much then? Velocity into time. Its so velocity is two hundred. Thousand two hundred into one point five. How much? Eighteen hundred kilometer. So now this is a diagram I can make. This is B position, which is at a distance from the starting point. This is O is the airport, eighteen hundred kilometer. This is fifteen hundred kilometer position A. So AB is equal to how much? From the Pythagoras theorem, fifteen hundred square plus eighteen hundred square only now. Yes. Check. What is answer? Fifteen hundred is how much? Two twenty five. If I'm taking hundred square out, so hundred root of two twenty five plus eighteen square is how much, madam? Eighteen square is how much? Three twenty four. How much? Three twenty four, sir. Three twenty four. Three twenty four plus two twenty five. Five forty nine. So hundred root five forty nine. So what is the twenty three square? Five twenty nine. So this is the answer. Is the answer? Is the answer? Yes, sir. Is the answer is. Hundred root by forty nine. So they have given three hundred root sixty one. Three hundred root sixty. Check. Uh, they are just minimizing the answer. What is the factors of five forty nine? Ninth table, ah. Five forty nine. Divided by nine, sixty one. 
So nine into sixty one. This will be hundred into three into root sixty one. So the answer is three hundred root sixty one kilometer. The distance between them is. Three hundred root sixty one kilometers. How it is possible? Should be greater than this one, na? No? Yes, sir. Actually, it is the hypotenuse, sir. So it has to be greater. Yeah, it is greater because root sixty one is how much? Approximately eight times, na? No? Yes, sir. So, eighteen to three is two thousand four hundred kilometers. Yes, sir. It is correct. It is greater than seven. Seven three six seven two thousand one hundred, madam. The right answer. Three hundred into root sixty one is around two thousand four hundred. Okay. Understand? Visualization is little important. That's yes, sir. Understood. Sir. Any other questions? No, sir. That's all. Yeah, sir, is there any short form for uh, distance formula and uh, section form? No, that is only the short form. Only the okay, basic formula you will get the speed. Okay, sir. Fine. Thank you.